Hello military video lovers, we are examining Iranian army power which has never fallen from the Asian non militarily. Iran is the 18th largest country in the world with a total population of 84 million. The president is Hassan Rouhan, 72 years old. Its capital is Tehran. Iran has a large army of the 875,000 personnel in total. The army consists of 525,000 active personnel and 350,000 reserve personnel. It is the seventh country in the world with the most active personnel. Until the Iranian Revolution in 1979, it was mostly equipped with Western weapons. After the revolution, the army began to meet its needs by importing from Russia, China and North Korea. Currently, the G3 rifle is the main infantry rifle of the army. Iran derives its most important strength from its powerful and effective land forces in its region. There are 3,709 combat tanks in the inventory of Iranian ground forces. During the 1980 Iran-Iraq war, Iran obtained a license from Russia to build T-72S combat tanks domestically. Later, it produced the local Zulfikar and Karar tanks. According to 2021 data, it is the seventh country in the world with the most tanks. There are 8,500 armored vehicles, 770 self propelled artillery, 2,108 towered artillery, and 2,475 rocket systems. It's the second army with the most rocket system in the world, after the Russian army. Iran has focused on ballistic missile program since 1980. In 1988, he succeeded in producing the 350 km range Shahabat-1 missile, which is a copy of the North Korean missile Hwasong-5. Later, it was able to produce 500 km Sahab 2 and in 2003, 1280 km range Sahab 3 missile. In 2016, he tested the Godar 110 missile, a hypersonic missile with the range of 2000 km and threatened the Israel. The most striking force of the Iranian army is its missile system. Regionally, it has the third strongest army in the Middle East. Continental is the seventh strongest army of Asia. According to 2021 data, it has the 14th strongest army in the world. A total of 516 aircraft serve in Iran's Air Force inventory. 161 of these aircraft are fighter aircraft, 23 of them are didactic attack aircrafts. There are 85 transport aircraft, 96 trainer aircraft, 9 special mission aircraft, and six tanker aircraft. It also has 99 helicopters in the inventory. Twelve of these helicopters are attack helicopters. Iran effectively used its air force for eight years in the Iran-Iraq war. The pilots who gained experience in this war were later transferred to the command rank of the air force. But the technological competence of the Air Force inventory appears to be limited. The Air Superiority Fighters fleet in the inventory consists of 40 American F-14 Tomcats and 
40 NIG training minus important in 1974. 6F4 Phantom and 6F5 Tiger II aircraft important in 1968 are used for multiple proposals. At the same time, 30 Su-24 bombers imported from Russia in 1991 are in service. It can be said that the Iranian Air Force is weaker than the ground forces. This is because the Air Force is far from technological competence. Paying attention to domestic fighter jet production in recent years, Iran has created a prototype named Kayar-313. The Iranian Navy consists of the total of 398 pieces of Navy elements. It has 6 frigates, 3 corvettes, 29 submarines and 20 patrol boats in total. There is no destroyer and aircraft carrier. It's the fifth country in the world with the most submarines. However, it doesn't have sufficient strength and size in terms of naval forces. Six frigates and three carvets do not seem to be sufficient as an attack element. In recent years, due to risk of war and the trade of hormones, the Navy has been given importance. The naval attack force consists of three Alvent class frigates imported from the UK in 1971, two domestic Modage class frigates built in 2010 and 2018 joined the Navy. In addition, the construction of three Modage class frigates launched in 2015 is ongoing. If we examine the submarines, the Russian made three Kalo class are the best of the Navy. In 2019, 527 tons of domestic production Fatah class submarine was put into service. A new submarine called Gadir is currently under production. We have examined the Iranian army strength. If you like military videos, don't forget to subscribe to VSP Defense. See you in the next video.